The following is a very typical uh, scenario for most businesses. You have your ISP connected to WAN number one and another ISP which is connected to the other WAN interface. Now, in most cases, you will use uh, SD-WAN. You will use the two or three WAN interfaces for load balancing. But the very basic scenario is when one ISP is on hold and it gets active only when there's an issue with the primary ISP. So let's configure a link health monitor that will enable the second WAN interface when needed. All right, so we have two WAN interfaces. The first one, WAN number one, is the primary WAN, and the second one is our slave WAN or our failover WAN. All right, so let's move to static route. Now, currently, I have only one static route with the default route uh, that goes through WAN number one. So let's create our second default route. The gateway interface for our second default route is 192.168.2.254 and the interface is WAN2. Now, if I'll set the um, two static routes with the same distance, the traffic will actually load balance between the two. They will be both active. So let's set WAN number two with a distance of 20 so it won't be active. We will see it soon using the get router info. Okay, now if we we'll move to our command line, get router info, routing table. Now if I'll use the all, you will only see the first static route which is active, which is my WAN number one. And if I'll use the database, you will see all routes. So that is the first static route, which is active, and that is the second default route, which is currently not active. When we will configure the link health monitor, we will make sure that once there's a failover, that static route actually becomes the active one. All right, so let's configure our link monitor. Config system link monitor. Let's edit our um, link monitor. Let's name it redundant. All right, let's set the source interface to port two. That is the source interface of our primary WAN interface. Let's set the server to Google's DNS server. That's the server that we will probe to check that everything is okay with our connection. And now let's use a protocol that will be used to probe that server. Now we can use different types of uh, protocols. We can use uh, ping, HTTP, TWAMP, and so on. We will use ping. All right, let's set the gateway interface IP, that is 192.168.1.44. Let's use an interval 500. Let's use failover attempts. Um, let's make it five. Let's use recovery time, also five and the no that's not the last thing let's set the status no before status let's set the update uh, static route now this is probably the most important configuration or setting that makes sure that whenever a link is uh, there's a failover with a link the other static route the other default route that we have just configured will become the active route. So let's set it to enable and let's set the status to enable. There it is.